Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MapTube. In this video, we are going to learn something very important and that is our Bernoulli's equation. And I have given one warning here and take it very seriously. Only those who are good with linear differential equation will be able to understand Bernoulli's equation. They are connected, they are connected like anything. In a few minutes you will see that. So, if you have not studied linear differential equation, pause the video right now and watch the videos on linear differential equation. Okay, so look at this. Basically, Bernoulli's equation looks almost like our linear equation. So, dy by dx plus something into y is equal to q into, uh, maybe it is y to the power n or maybe it is a function in y. I love to define this equation like this. So, the only difference you are going to notice is in the right hand side, there will be functions in y. And sometimes they will put functions in y here also. So, this is how the equation looks. Now, we are not going to check what Bernoulli did. But, what we are going to do is, we are going to forcefully convert it into linear and there is a trick so let's start with the problems so please write the first question solve the differential equation now look at this this was asked in 2075 yeah so please write solve the differential equation dy by dx plus 1 by x sine 2y is equal to x cube cos squared y just like i told you it looks kind of like our linear equation but focus on the right hand side you will see a function in y so point number one you have to remove the function in y from the right hand side and that's very simple divide throughout by cos square y so we get 1 by cos square y plus 1 by x sin 2y by cos square y is equal to x cube cos square y by cos square y will be uh, what you call 1 now let's simplify this so 1 by cos square will be say x square y dy by dx plus 1 by x what's the formula for sine 2 theta do you remember that is 2 sine theta cos theta so we are going to end up with 2 sine y cos y divided by cos square y is equal to x cube so this cos and cos gets cancelled so we end up with say x square y dy by dx plus 1 by x into 2 what is sine by cos yeah tan y is equal to x cube now once more let me tell you the steps point number one remove the function in y from the right hand side by dividing throughout by that quantity and then simplify 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 now i wanted to focus on the second term on the left can you see the second term on the left in every problem now in every bernoulli problem all you have to do is you have to take a function in y can you see a function in y tan y and equate it to some letter I'm going to use T here and if you simplify now the equation will become linear now what is the derivative of tan y with respect to x so x squared y into dy by dx is equal to dt by dx now can you see the same quantity that you see here will be here that's guaranteed so one last time let me make the procedure clear point number one divide throughout by the function in y which is on the right hand side simplify and look at the second term on the left you know that term means separated by plus or minus so look at the second term which is the green one and you will be able to see a function in y just call that function as t or w or whatever you prefer and differentiate 
that derivative will be associated with the first term that's it that's it now let's substitute and it becomes dt by dx plus 1 by x into 2 into t is equal to x cube now comes the warning what did I warn you in the beginning only the students who are good with linear differential equation will be able to solve Bernoulli's so take it very seriously now you'll understand why I said that can you see this is the linear differential equation anyway it is not dy by dx but we have dt by dx we have done problems like this in the last video plus 2 by x into t is equal to x cube now you know what to do come on we already know how to solve linear equation so you'll write comparing with the standard equation dt by dx plus p into t is equal to q and first find integrating factor what is integrating factor e to the power integral p dx means this quantity so that will be e to the power integral p p means 2 by x and that will be e to the power 2 into i hope you remember integration of 1 by x is natural logarithm of x to be honest we had to write ln x and um, do you know that log a to the power b is b into log a so if you read it from this side it sounds like b log a becomes yeah so this becomes e to the power log x squared and exponential function and logarithmic functions are inverses so we get x squared now the solution is look at this the variables are not y and x it is t and x so solution will be t into if is equal to integral q into if dx plus c I'm repeating once more if you are not able to understand this line it clearly implies you are not good with linear differential equation okay now let's continue so t into integrating factor is x squared integral q q q where is my q ah x cube into x squared dx plus c that's it two more lines so t into x squared equal to what is the integration of x power 5 because a power m a power n multiplied gives you a to the power m plus n so x to the power 6 by 6 plus c that's it okay now let's go for another problem and this is from 2072 so please write the question solve the differential equation x into dy by dx plus y into log y is equal to x into y into e power x come on 100% Bernoulli's can you see this y so the first thing you have to do is divide throughout by y what will you do first we will divide throughout by y so we get 1 by y x into dy by dx plus what happens here log y because y and y gets cancelled and here x into e power x take that and uh, and look at this in the second term you'll always see a function in y target that function in y so i'm going to put log y is equal to t find the derivative 1 by y dy by dx is equal to dt by dx i'm differentiating with respect to x now guaranteed guaranteed look this you will be able to find exactly the same thing here can you see 1 by y dy by dx come on substitute that's it so this becomes x into the remaining will be dt by dx plus t is equal to x into e power x um, it looks almost like linear but this is not in the standard form because in linear the derivative should be accompanied by 1 so dt by dx plus 1 by x into t is equal to e power x you know what I did right I am dividing throughout by x ah, 
that's it now this is linear it's in the standard form dt by dx plus p into t instead of y and x we have t and x is equal to e power x i mean that is q so what's the first thing to do integrating factor that is e to the power integral p dx and that will be e to the power integral what is p ah 1 by x dx and e to the power integral 1 by x will be log x and you know exponential function and logarithmic functions are inverse so you end up with x what's the solution t into if is equal to integral q into if dx plus c so that gives me t into if is x is equal to integral q q q ah, e power x integrating factor x dx plus c in the last video i gave you um, a trick a small trick to do integration by parts by the way i'm going to apply i l a t e rule because algebraic function exponential function things are perfect so what should i do write the first function the derivative of the first function and just below this integration of the second function two times two times one below this one below this so that is x into t is equal to how do you apply integration by parts multiply this minus integral from our hand multiply this well that's it so we get x into t x into e power x minus what is integration of e power x yeah e power x plus c now replace t where is my t where is my t ah log y so that's it x into log y equal to that's it okay now let's go for one last problem uh, i'll just do half and the remaining you can do now one more thing when you prepare for an exam you should always make sure you practice a lot 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 of questions otherwise what happens is uh, in exam in the midway you might get stuck so make sure you watch this video understand the concept these videos are very good so that you can understand the concept or you can understand the procedure and later take any book that you like or the past paper questions and practice the same type again and again and again till you are confident yeah okay so another question solve the differential equation dy by dx plus 2 into y by x is equal to y cube by x cube okay clearly this is um, Bernoulli and I'm going to target y cube so what should I do first yeah divide throughout by y cube because i had to remove y from the right hand side i think the procedure is clear remove y from the right hand side or function in y from the right hand side simplify and target the second term on the left yeah so 1 by y cube dy by dx plus uh, 1 by y square 2 by x because y and y cube got cancelled 1 by x cube okay that's it now target the second term on the left see i can see a function in y so what will i do i'm going to put 1 by y square is equal to t now i have to find the derivative so i'll write it in the form y power minus 2 is equal to t so come on differentiate this minus 2 y to the power minus 3 dy by dx equal to dt by dx that is 2 into 1 by y cube dy by dx equal to dt by dx now look at this there is negative here or leave it i'll keep negative here itself now look at this look at this this is our target 1 by y cube look i can see the same thing the same thing can you see but there is an unwanted quantity minus 2 and that's not a big deal i'll just take that minus 2 to the other side 
1 by minus 2 dt by dx. So we end up with 1 by 2 dt by dx plus t into 2 by x is equal to 1 by x cube. This is not linear because the coefficient of dt by dx should be 1. So I am going to multiply throughout by minus 2. So dt by dx minus 4 by x into t is equal to minus 2 by x cube. Okay, now if I do more, I um, will be just wasting your time. I want you to do this and please comment below whether you found the answer or not. And if you can, please type the answer. It will be useful for other students. Okay, that's it. Uh, I'll be back with another video very soon and that will be solvable for P, Y and X. That's a very important type. Equation solvable for P, Y and X. So till then my friends, bye.